Okay, we have a bonus feature for you guys today. Nisha's going to tell, explain to us her natural hair journey with her locks, as well as her routine and how she did her hair today. Okay. Um. Well, starting how long have I had my locks? Um, it will be eleven years. Uh, New Year's New Year's Eve. Wow. Right there. I cut my hair New Year's Eve in two thousand. So or my going into year two thousand, and um, you know honestly it was just. I was just so tired of what I felt like was oppression to me. Um, only because, you know, I grew up in California. Being dark skinned over there is like so absurd. I, you know, and this, and this is very real. I think there's a lot of other sisters with that same kind of complex. You're dark and you're not told that you're pretty, you're told that you're dark for pretty, or. No, pretty, pretty for dark, for dark. Girl, right. right? Pretty for a dark skin girl, and you kind of you kind of get stuck into that, and so you don't really learn how to really just love yourself. Um, I had you know I had a perm, and it's like my hair was so damaged because again I told you I'm low maintenance. I'm at heart a real tomboy, so combing my hair I was just like oh I gotta comb it, gosh. Right. So isn't it enough that I wash it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was um it would be something that was you know was breaking off just looking just terrible, but. I remember people would be like, well, God, that'd be so much better than your real hair, like your natural hair. And I remember just getting tired of really hearing that. And I was just like, one day I was just like, I'm doing it. I don't care. And I look like a Q-tip. I cut it off and I had this little itty bitty thing on top of there. And, and the hair, because of having had a relaxer for so many years, was not my real texture at all. It was some janky looking yeah. thing on top of my head. It was straight and weird and no curl, no life to it. It was really just dead hair because we're, you know, right. we're perming our hair. We're really just killing it, and um, it, it it was it was an evolution because you know months in I was like, oh my gosh, my hair is my hair is beautiful and I'm still short and I look like a little boy and I was like, yeah, you know, I kind of <laughs> had a little boy sees to me, but um, it just became a thing that I fell in love with, and um, but. The, the diehard in me of being lazy, I was like, what's the style I can do that will have me do the least amount of work to my hair? Right. And I was like, locks. <laughs> and that's, that's honestly, honestly, that's what I did. Um, there was also an attraction, I think, spiritually to me, at least the people in my lives who had had locks. I was always spiritually attracted to them. So it was a little bit of that kind of layering there. And I started growing my hair. And, and my maintenance when I first started was I didn't really have a regimen. I just wash when I washed. This is before own body, before holistic, before forward thinking. I was really kind of just in program mode. So I would wash my hair with um, motions and lube it with pink oil moisturizer <laughs> and twist it with black gel. I mean, right. everything that which, you can do right. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> which all of us have done. Have all, <laughs> is at some point in time. So it's... Um, and, and through that, actually, I mean, I thank that. I thank myself for that experience, and I thank those products for this birth, really, because it was the fact that it was not gelling with my natural hair. My natural hair was saying, no, we don't want that. You need to figure out what it's going to be, but it's not going to be that. It would still be dry. It would still look crazy. And I just, I'm so glad that it pushed me in a direction which said, I know that, that Mother Nature can give us the things that we need, and here it is. Right. Honestly, here, here it really is. And I just wanted to go back to just point out, um, you mentioned evolution because it was so significant that you did your big shop on New Year's Eve of yeah. 2000, going yeah. into the year 2000. It was the new millennium, a yeah. new evolution, a new birth of you accepting you and not mm -hmm. feeling as oppressed as you said. Yeah. I thought that was really interesting to point that out. That's deep. I'm going to journal about that tonight. Yes. That's, that's yes. Deep. I just noticed yeah. that. Um, so what is your routine? My routine right now is, um, especially since it's winter time, I pretty much only wash like once a month. That's for me. That's, you know, with the locks. But I do clean my scalp every two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I clean my scalp with the basics, the real basics, um, witch hazel. That'll save you. I'm mm -hmm. serious. It tones the scalp there as well, and it also cleans. You don't have to always be in the shower with wet hair. It's cold and... You know, right. just the effort. Again, I tell you guys, I'm so low, low maintenance. <laughs> so the effort, um, I clean my scalp at least, you know, twice a week. If, if if it's really, depending on where I am, if it's really just dusty where I am or whatever, you know, once a week. It's something you can, it's easy to take a cotton swab and just kind of get it on the scalp. 
Um, but when I wash my hair, I wash with my herbal shampoo and the herbal conditioner. Um, I do that in shower. And then I'll usually use the hydrating hair milk while my hair is wet and just slather that on. See, I have a really big life-size jar at home. <laughs> so I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> and I just get the locks all just, you know, really saturated with that. Um, then when I come out, I pretty much have to twist immediately or I can just let it air dry. But my hair is a thick set of, set of locks. It's really thick. And then I have an interesting kind of blend of all my ancestors on top of my head. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I understand yeah. Me too. <laughs> so I got some different people in some different places. So I have to twist or it'll look really strange yeah. um, come Monday. Um, so when I'm doing, when I go to sit to do that, I pretty much am using the, the sweet hair pudding to retwist my locks. And the pudding gives me the moisture of a butter but the hold of a gel and it in the and place. I love that. I love right. Because I do a lot of twist out styles. Okay. And I love that I don't have to moisturize plus style. It's all in one. It's all in one. And it it really I mean it really takes care of it. When I when I when I'm done it's it's it still can move. It's not like, you know, rock hard stiff. Um in the places where my curl pattern is more straight um, I'll add some aloe gel just to make sure it really hold, holds because even when I started my locks it took a good year and a half before I had one lock on my head that actually wow. held everything was just loose it was wow. always loose and they were like what are you doing I'm like I'm growing dread <laughs> they're like okay um, so that's what I do and then I dry my hair either by air dry but since it's been so cold lately I've been whipping out my um, hooded heater I have a little hooded you know sit under a heater at home and I sit under that and I dry my hair under that and I actually then lube my locks with the oil and then get a little bit on the scalp um I will always put this out there as a disclaimer anytime you're using any kind of oil um just keep in mind oil in general is going to attract lint and dirt so if you're using oil and you're trying to use it often like every day then just also clean your scalp you know every two days or something because you don't want oils to really kind of build up on the right. scalp. I mean, even if it's a good oil that's, you know, good with the pH and it's avocado and has all these nutrients and olive oil, they're nice and fat. They're great for you, but they also attract lint and dirt just because of the properties of oil, the way, you know, the way right. they are. Their charge or whatever attracts lint. So, um, and that's pretty much my regimen. And then, you know, because I'm only washing once a month, I just kind of keep my hair a little hydrated between the hibiscus hair tea or the hydrating hair, mi hair milk, just keeping my locks kind of to give it a little pick me up. I also use the deodorizer just because it's been a month since I washed my hair to keep the bump away. Right. <laughs> and then that's really me. It's it's really basic, low maintenance for myself, and um, you know, keeps my hair looking really snazzy. Cool. So can you tell us a little bit about your hairstyle today? How you did it? This is my two hairstyles in one hairdo right here. <laughs> so actually, this this. I just toyed with it last week. I washed my hair, went through my whole regimen, and I usually will just twist and it'll be like just straight, and, and that's fine. But when it's like that, I mean, I don't like hair too much in my face. I'm always flipping it up and doing something with it. So I'm always looking for a style that's just like I can just wear it and not have to do anything to it. So this one, I actually just um, took the lock like this, if you can see it, sort of. And then just wrapped it all the way up. Well, I did a better job at home <laughs> than I'm doing right now. Something like that, sort of. Hold on. Let me try one more time. <laughs> so I went like this. And so I had a whole head of locks that were sitting this short. So that in itself was a hairstyle that I rocked for like a week. Can you see it? Let me see. Yeah. So it wasn't sticking up looking like that. Right. It was it like that. Like there you go. <laughs> and I had that for like a week. And it's funny because um, I'm actually doing some consulting for a company. And I was I was there. And immediately they're like, did you cut your did you hair? Did you cut your hair? <laughs> I'm like, no, I didn't cut my hair. It's my little trick. Y'all know. <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. Was it yours? Was it extensions you had before? And I'm like, oh, goodness, you guys wouldn't get it. But anyways. <laughs> um, and then I just took this down actually last night. And... I didn't realize was, the curls were going to be this hardcore. Like, they're pretty bouncy. My, my yeah, hair length is it. much longer than what you can see oh, from the wow. curls. But She's about at mid-back length. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But the 
curls. So I'm gonna wear this till the wheels fall off, and then yes, and it's it looks else. Like, once again low maintenance. Yeah. And I love two for one styles. I yeah. put my twists in for a week, take yeah. them out for another week. Exactly. There, there you go. <laughs> High five for real. Yes. <laughs> High five. Thank you You're for welcome. letting us know about your lovely products and your yeah. lovely hairstyle. And like I said, we will have you back again. Yes. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you. And thank you for the work that you do. And this, this is this is what's up because I mean, if you guys don't know. I mean, she's I'm totally interviewing you. Hold on. Yes, it's only me. <laughs> so I've been doing this for really a couple of months and. I applaud you, and, and I'm seriously speaking to you out there who are watching. Take note. This is this is how you address us, by taking the risk. I mean, this is an industry that's so saturated, and she's only been doing it for a couple months. And the things that you're putting together Thank you. are so major. Like, people who've been in the game for 10 years haven't even gotten to that point. So... Mm -hmm. You're doing it. You're doing thank it. And we, you. we applaud you. We thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Good.